Hi, everybody. Welcome to First Look. I'm Katie Couric here with Chris Dynan interrupting his lunch, which looks pretty darn good. Where'd you get that, by the way? Uh, just downstairs in our fantastic cafeteria. You no, know, actually, the cafeteria does have some good items. I think, you know, it's much maligned and unfairly <laughs> maligned at times. All right, so we're going to talk about the show tonight. First of all, we've got uh, Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld is speaking out or actually spoke out on Capitol Hill about the whole Pat Tillman debacle, which was really a huge embarrassment for the Army. Truly. I mean, there was lots of evidence, including reports that have come out in the past week that there was a cover-up. Um, Rumsfeld and other Pentagon officials denied that uh, that was the case, and but we're a little iffy on what they knew and when. All right, so moving on with our little commentary there. Uh, Sheila McVicker is doing a piece, the Saudis are incensed that uh, U.S. officials are, are, are accusing them of actually providing or supplying suicide bombers to Iraq, and so... There was a press conference in Saudi Arabia today about that. Right. Intelligence reports have shown that uh, the majority of suicide bombers that blow themselves up in Iraq and many others um, come from Saudi Arabia, and the Saudi foreign minister was, quote, shocked by the reports of such. So we're going to do a little reality check on, Saudi, on the Saudi Arabian role. Also, Barack Obama said something pretty controversial about sending sure. troops to Pakistan to, to weed out terrorism there, and I guess the the reconstitution of al-Qaeda there uh, between the Afghan-Pakistan border, and Cheryl Atkinson is going to be talking to him about that. Right. Um, he's one of the only candidates to say that he would go into Pakistan, which is a very controversial thing to say. Um, and it's, of course, there's a military necessity to do such, but there's a political imperative that requires that you be delicate in this situation. So right. we'll ask him more about what he has in mind. Then Jeff Greenfield's doing a piece that uh, we thought about in one of our politics meeting, which is really these second-tier candidates. You know, you hear about, obviously, about Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and John Edwards, but after that, you know, also rants, if you will, like Chris Dodd, even Joe Biden, and in this case, Mike Huckabee, who is the former governor of Arkansas, and Jeff Greenfield is doing a piece on what motivates these people who are clearly second-tier candidates who may not have a chance of, of uh, winning at all, what keeps them going, and really what their days are like. And then John LaPook is doing something, uh, a piece on something that, that Chris actually is going to sign up for. And what is that? Uh, it's for people who are com uh, comatose, which is no laughing matter, but there's a procedure that for at least one person and presumably for several others uh, that provides them stimulation to their brain and literally wakes them up from their comas. So deep brain stimulation. Right. And, and, and we were interested, even if you're not in a coma, just because our brains need stimulating at some point. Anyway, so hopefully you guys can check out the stories we're working on for tonight on the CBS Evening News. We'll see you then. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> oh, Chris, he's very cool. <laughs>